Hey guys. Well today I wanted to go over the cold steel shovel. The special forces shovel. And uh, it was shortly after I did the, uh, the cookery review of the cold steel where I was very impressed with the price point for what you got. Um, you know, I basically wanted to try out a few things. Uh, a lot of people recommend the cold steel shovel. Um, I will say we've used this for just about everything. Um, the initial idea for the handle here, you'll see this kind of drilled out hole. Uh, it's really just too dry and uh, wants to splinter, but I wanted to put a uh, county com uh, tube volt in there to help store extra gear. Uh, part of that is because the cold steel is kind of such a multi-purpose uh, piece of gear. Um, you can use it for chopping, you can use it for delimbing, you can use it for a lot of things, getting through roots. Um, it's, a, it's a good size, you can still get your foot with enough purchase on the side here to actually punch through a frozen ground, uh, punch through roots, things like that. Now the shape lends itself uh, very well for basically slicing. It does not have much a, of a cup, of a bowl, and if your real purpose is just to break up the ground uh, to be able to move it, um, there is another shovel that I can't quite remember the name of it. I will put a link up here of another YouTuber that did a review on it, and it's an interesting like hatchet shovel uh, conversion. Uh, I wasn't too worried about ruining this. Uh, the handles are replaceable. Uh, they are fairly cheap, um, five, six bucks, I think, online. Uh, but the other interesting idea is just to take the handle off. If you're going to be using this for a bug out uh, situation, certainly, you know, making the handle smaller, being able to fashion a handle uh, in the woods, being able to fashion a longer handle, uh, taking this off and putting a, you know, a six foot chunk of whatever birch branch something like that um, not only gives you some sort of a a spear a throwing device uh, but it also enables your you know back to be saved as a uh, an easier way to do it um, I have seen people take uh, like a less than 90 branch off there and turn this into more of a trowel and uh, I'll try to find the link and stick up there Now other shovels I have to compare it to is this Gerber that I initially bought. Um, it's seen a good amount of use. Uh, the handle extends. It's uh, very similar to an entrenching tool, the way it locks up. Uh, it does have a hammering plate, uh, simply because you can lock this in the trowel position. And then pull this guy down. And you have, if I can do that on here. There you go. And you have a, uh, a hammering surface. Um, what I found out with this shovel is I really, it's a heavy shovel for the size. Um, I would even say that it's equal to the larger uh, shovel. Not This is just hand weight. I'm not putting it on a scale or anything. Uh, but this little Gerber, it's seen a lot of use, as you can see. Um, but for the, the size of the shovel itself and the weight... Uh, it's really not worth carrying. Uh, it was in the back of the truck for years, and um, you know the case that it comes with isn't anything crazy. Um, it's basically just to keep your pack or your truck uh, clean when you get this thing dirty. Now a little bit better is kind of the modified uh, entrenching tool. They come with a little bit nicer cases. Uh, this is the Gerber. You have much more uh, scooping area. It is a touch larger than the cold steel. Uh, still a nice sharp point. Uh, you're able to sharpen the edges if you need to. Um, a little bit bigger handle, a little bit bigger reach. Let me get this thing out of the way here. Kind of line this guy up. You can see the, the, the Gerber entrenching tool is just a little bit bigger. Um, you don't have kind of the ability to modify this uh, without the handle. And um, but and all in all, I've never had an issue with this. This is one of the older ones. I don't know if they're still made in the USA or not. Um, more than likely not. But um, sort of the, the composite material, a lot of people were worried about the handle uh, holding up. And this thing, even this has bent just a little bit from its use. But uh, 
yeah it's seen a, a ton of use and yet if I were to pick one and this one is certainly nice to attach onto something where you know this is going to be more of a lashed on um, you could make a uh, you know a protective sleeve for the outside here uh, maybe someone who makes a kydex for it um, but it has a little bit less um, carrying abilities uh, I did have this on the outside of the pack most of the time uh, just simply because when you're using it it's dirty and you don't want to shove it inside of a pack and so it's nice having a case um, not really comparing the, the, the Gerber or even the Glock tool uh, to the uh, Special Forces but I would say for the money these are a lot more expensive than this cold steel and so again for the versatility for the amount of money you spend on this and for the capacity that you get as long as you're not trying to scoop up you know like snow or you know ton of leaf litter or things like that it's nice to have to break up the ground certainly you can move a lot of dirt with your feet and other you know ways as long as the the dirt is loose so hard rocky areas definitely a plus uh, very rooted areas if you're in a place that has um, like the junipers and things like that you're gonna hit a root and you want to be able to go through it and it does a fairly effective job just because it is so sharp and it is so paddle like um, you know again I I, I really enjoyed it um, I did sort of screw up the handle in my search to do that but um, initially if I were gonna carry this in a bug out uh, situation I would take the screws out and that would lighten this up even more it would allow me to get a long handle shovel if I wanted to again if you made uh, an L bracket um, basically out of a branch uh, that you could find out there then you could turn this into a hoe um, you know if you had that coming back that way so uh, certainly the versatility of this is there um, is it the best shovel probably not I did carry this in the back of the truck again this is a very small size um, I didn't have a chance to use it that much I just honestly didn't need a shovel when it was back there um, you know it would get the job done but certainly most of the time you're trying to scoop material um, in sort of a vehicle you know scenario as far as mud and snow from your wheels so I would definitely look at it we use it for I mean everything um, like I said it's not the best scooper but it definitely works as a trial we even used it for um, uh, doing mortar work uh, doing brick work I'll find the video and, and stick it in here at some point but uh, overall for the price of the money you can't beat it and I definitely recommend it if you're looking for a small shovel. Thanks for watching.